Yes! They're the kings. But now they've got these incredible flourishing careers. How many of you are watching Winchesters? Woo! Loving it? Uh-huh. How about Walker? Woo! How about Walker Independence? Woo! How about Boys? Yeah! How about my guilty pleasure, Big Sky? Yeah! All right, then you know what I'm talking about. We love these guys. We're so grateful to have them here for you. Please join me in a warm creation welcome for Jensen Ackles and Jared Padalecki. Here comes Jared and Jensen. Yeah! Legit did not. Yeah, right. Liar. <laughs> I, I did. Lies. Apologies. I'll wake up soon. That's just Vegas. You can you can party all night or not. You're still gonna look the same. Yeah. <laughs> I slept really well Friday to Saturday, and then last night for some reason I was like, I'm just wide awake. Uh, anyways, thank y'all for bringing us to Vegas. Happy New Year. <laughs> really awesome to see all y'all. Who first time? Awesome. Who first time? I'm thinking very. Is your mom like a, a, an English teacher? Yes. So my wife was an English major. Right. Right now. But you, none of that has simple. rubbed off on you. No. Okay. Sorry. sorry. Wait. Clarify. How many first time? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, we're not going there. No. Uh, it is Vegas. It stays here. Uh, <laughs> how was y'all's holidays? Good? Woo! Was it? Woo! I see a little, I see one hand kind of going so so. Alright, well, hopefully. She's like, look, I'm here, alright? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me? Let's just take the win. <laughs> <laughs> Stop asking so many questions. Um, well, speaking awesome. of questions. Yeah, speaking of questions. Should we answer some? Uh, that, that was a quick hand up there. Yes. With the GoPro? With regards to radio company, the music, what do you usually do first? Do you do the melody or do you usually do the lyrics first? Uh, I usually start with... <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jared, tell us, tell us your process. Yeah. I just start humming, you know, <laughs> in the shower. And right when I'm washing under my left armpit, I'm like, this is going to be good. <laughs> Just use it. <laughs> and he works out the melody with... That's, you too? I do. Um, Steve and I will usually uh, come up with a melody and then um, start humming what we think, you know, the, the sound, you know, where, where the words might go, and then we, then we try to come up with the lyrics that fit the melody. So that's, that's really funny. I, literally this morning, I was just doing a podcast, and they were talking about Paul McCartney uh, creating Get Back. You know, Get Back to work. Um, and they were saying, he was like walking around going like, and he, he had the melody in his head and then and put words the lyrics. to it. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a pretty, I think that's probably a more common uh, way of doing it. Writing a, a poem and then trying to put music to those words, I think would be much more difficult. So, yeah. I think it would both be difficult. So, <laughs> so yeah, that, that's generally what we do. Thanks. Uh, my, uh, uh, question from the squeaky toy. Quick, 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 quick. About right here. Yes. Hi. Hey. Hi. So, I come to Vegas kind of here because I. And I always wake up with <laughs> You say you come to Vegas every year because you live here? I come to Vegas every year, yeah, because I live here. She waits for us to come to her. I come to Vegas all, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I love that part. Um, and with, um, you know, the possibility of there not being in Vegas Con next year, I just wanted to first thank you guys for always showing up and Woo! giving us so much of your time and attention. <laughs> <laughs> it really, like, makes it worth the ticket price and 
to just have the, you guys making it so special for us every time you guys come. So I really appreciate it. Thanks. Um, my question is, uh, without saying the cast and crew that you love working with, what do you miss most? Who do you hate working with? Who's <laughs> the... <laughs> what do you miss most about being Sam and Dean? And uh, what was the hardest part of them to like drop for your next character? Like, what was the habit that was hardest to get rid of in hmm. pursuing your next character? It's a great question. Yeah. Uh, thank you back for bringing us to Vegas, being part of what brought us to Vegas for many years. Uh, I guess I'll give this a shot. Um, I got it. Do you want to think about it? Um, well, I'll, I'll kind of go in reverse. The, I think the uh, the first thing that I did after uh, Supernatural was Boys, and the thing that uh, the thing that I was most fearful of was was using Dean's voice, and it was something. Luckily, I had Kripke watching my back. I had Phil Segreta watching my back, and um, and. And I remember, I think there might have been a couple of takes where, where Phil had to step in. He's like, hey, hey, what's that? <laughs> and I'm like, sorry, it's my go-to, all right? I've been doing it for a long time. Uh, so I, I, I think I was, um, well, I'll take, I'll take Kripke's word for it when he said that, uh, that, that he, never saw, he never saw Dean in what Soldier Boy was. So I, I think that was a... That was the pat on the back that I was looking for, um, but that was the hard, that was a hard thing to, to kind of drop and to get out from underneath was that, that kind of voice. Um, and then, <clears throat> what do I miss the most about? Um, I would say, I mean, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to come up with something other than the camaraderie of a film set that's been working together for the, be you know, the better part of two decades. It's, uh, that really was one of my favorite things um, about what I do for a living is the morning uh, set walk, like getting to set, getting to the trailer, and then walking over to maybe get some breakfast and say it hi to all the caterer guys, seeing seeing the the morning kind of come to life with the you know the, the camera guys pulling all the equipment out of the trucks and the grips and the electrics and everybody starting the whole thing starting to hum and like that feeling and that. Uh, just that, that, that camaraderie that exists between the whole crew and the cast and everybody gearing up for the day because then you know it's going to be at least a 12 to 14 hour day every day which is what supernatural yeah. was um you know everybody's gearing up for for battle that day and i just i miss i miss those morning moments with people that i knew so well you still get that got that on you know with big sky i got to know those people but it's hard it's, it'll be hard to ever know as uh, your crew as well as we do, the Supernatural crew. Yeah, uh, same. That for sure. You know, you know somebody, and you know, Jensen's done 450 projects since uh, Supernatural. <laughs> I've done one, uh, so uh, so I do have a kind of two and a half, three year uh, experience with my Walker casting crew. So that's starting, but I'm super. It wasn't just knowing somebody's name and knowing what they do for a living. We knew like, hey. They got married two years ago, or six years ago, or hey, they lost somebody eight years ago. Like, check in on them. Like, you, you really knew these people. Um, and that's just a, a, a product of time. I'll, I'll say that for me on Walker, kudos to Anna Fricky and uh, Seamus Kevin Faye, who, who were kind of like co-running the writer's room at the time, because Jared felt out of sorts. But they, the, for those who have seen Walker, the first season, Cordell Walker is kind of out of sorts and he's coming back from being undercover. Like he, so I, it kind of worked, because I was like, I don't, I don't, like, I, I feel weird as Jared, but luckily Cordell feels weird, and I can be quirky. Uh, one of the just random things, maybe not as deep as uh, knowing the cast of Crusoe uh, wonderfully, um, Walker, we don't have long setups. We don't shoot studio mode often, where there's a bunch of lighting. So he and I, like on Supernatural, we would go shoot a scene, and then they would be turning around, so we'd like have half an hour to go chill out, watch the news, call our families. Play ping pong. Play ping pong, <laughs> read email, play soccer, whatever. Uh, on Walker, it's kind of like they're always ready because it's not so crisp, you know? Like, there'll be a time where there's a shadow on your face. There'll be a time where 
you're half obscured by the other actor, and they're like, cool, feels real, you know, we move on. Um, and so, like, a, a day of work on Walker is shorter, uh, but it's, it's kind of a sprint. So, we would shoot 14 hours, sometimes 16, uh, I think Bugs was 18, we had like a, a third lunch or something. Because yeah. um, <clears throat> you have to, you know, if you're night shooting, you only have a location for a day, you have to get it done. Um, and so... You know what's funny, this is they never refer to any meal on set as dinner. <laughs> it's, always like, it's either lunch or second meal. That's it. They're like, no, 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 we're not serving you guys dinner. I'm like, but it's, it's dinner. No. And we, every year, had lunch at least once a year at like 1 a.m. Midnight, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Legit. Yeah, they would call lunch. That, that would be lunch. Crew calls at 6 p.m. That, that would be breakfast. That would be breakfast. Breakfast at 6 p.m. Yeah. and then you eat your lunch at yeah. midnight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but we'd have time in between to go catch up. We'd run lines, whatever. Walker's kind of like, get here and we're sprinting uh, until we're done. And so that's been a, uh, it, was a it was a, you know, a, 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 a bit of a, like, ah! Adjustment. Uh, Say a bit of an adjustment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like a slap in the face or something. But um, there's uh, also things that we probably can't talk about um, on Supernatural <laughs> that we kind of we kind of grandfathered in. <laughs> we this stays in Vegas, right? Because we because we had started so long ago. I mean, when we started shooting Supernatural, we were doing it on 35 millimeter film. I don't know of any show that films on actual film anymore. Um, but there were just things that we kind of started to do early on and established as just our behavior <laughs> that, that our, no other shows could get away, no other cast, they'd be like, wait, you guys do what? We're like, yeah. <laughs> and there was, a, there was a lot of those things that we just kind of, everybody was just like, no, that's just the way they've been doing it, so let's, <laughs> let's not rock the boat. Let them be themselves and do whatever that is. Uh, and we'd just be like, <laughs> um, <laughs> for, As a for instance, uh, you know, we, we started the show in 2005, and Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and all this stuff didn't really exist yet, and so we signed a contract. There were no clauses about social media. Oh, yeah. And then come like 2012, when it was big and most people kind of interacted via social media, they would every year, every single fucking season, we'd have a piece of paper in our trailer, like the first episode, saying it was like social media guidelines and accepted policies or something. And you would assign it. It was like a commitment to following certain protocol with the studio and the network yeah, yeah, yeah. via your personal social media. And, we, and Jerry, every day we'd just be like, <laughs> Never signed it. Ever. Never signed it once. It like, and they all were just like, did the, did the boys sign it? No? Okay. okay. We, we never got, there was like no pictures behind the camera, no this, no that. We were like, <laughs> <laughs> so, We got left alone and left to our own devices. Uh, uh, and I do, I do miss that because now that we're on these new shows and stuff, we're having to we're having to follow the rules yeah. a little more, a little more closely. Toe so. the line a little bit. It better. was, uh, it was the wild, wild west on Supernatural. <laughs> it was, it was. All right, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna go right there with the red and black plaid. I think it is. Hi. Hi. I would have scotch tastings at lunch, so I mean, it was like. <laughs> oh right. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, if it was like midnight on Friday, it was like, hey. Hey, I got about six bottles. Want a tram? You want to, yeah. <laughs> Let's go do a tasting. <laughs> Shut that up. That never happened. That never happened. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any alcohol in my trailer. <laughs> right, because you're at work. I'm you're not supposed to. <laughs> Nor did we ever, ever. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Remember our birthdays? <laughs> Do y'all know that story? No. Listen, we were young. <laughs> we were young and the immature. Still, are, still immature, but um, we for our for our birthdays for the first few seasons, we'd get each other an entire keg of beer and put it in the trailer and would just drink it 
all day while working. Just throughout the day, we just come back and tss, like we were in college. <laughs> and everyone on the production was just like, I don't see anything. <laughs> uh, as we got older though, it, it, it became like a pony keg, which is like a half pan. And then wait, and then like the next year, it was like three those little boys. five liter like Heineken kegs. And then, and then, yeah, then it became just like a six pack of like, <laughs> What about, uh, we also had this funny thing, speaking about how we would just kind of do things the way we did things. So, as much as we're making it sound like we were heathens, heathens, <laughs> horrific, we always got done on time, we always knew our lines, right. our marks, uh, uh, hung our wardrobe, all that stuff. Um, but season one, I believe it was, so we filmed in Canada, obviously. Uh, they don't recognize American Thanksgiving, which for Texans especially, and for a lot of America, is a bigger holiday than and Christmas. And it's a religious holiday. Yeah, yeah, because Christmas is, you know, very much based in Christianity, and some people are not religious. So Thanksgiving is always like, okay, no one's spending any money, having to go to a store for four days, trying to figure out what to buy for who. It's always just like, hey, let's let's eat and drink and, you Be know, merry. Be merry and watch the Cowboys. Yeah. And so <laughs> season one, we had to work the entire week, and we're like, that's cool. You make the schedule the way you want to make it. Here's the deal. We're going to be watching the Cowboys game. So, and we were shooting like an hour away from Vancouver and Langley or something. Yeah. And we're like, we'll just find the place uh, closest that has the game on. Y'all can do whatever you want. We're going to be watching the Cowboys game on, on Thanksgiving. And so they, they got uh, like a portable satellite dish, and... Uh, linked it into our trailer so that the Cowboys game would play on our trailer. So we would stay closer to set. So we stay closer to set. But then we were like, Why don't we have this all the time? Awesome. <laughs> so from the boom, grandfathered in. <laughs> so people would be like, Wait, you have like saddle, like direct TV? You have like direct TV in your trailer? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? I remember a Mel, like, where you have, like, TV. That's like, right, a Mel. Yeah, everywhere. A Mel like, was so mad. <laughs> and Cliffy knows the stories better than anybody, but sometimes our, our Teamsters would have to get there, like, an hour early. To, to, set, up find, to set up the satellite. To <laughs> like, a 60-foot cord to the nearest place without trees that was facing the right direction, adjacent to the sun, to find the right... And it was always, there, every now and again, we'd be shooting in a place where it's like, you know, we're in the mountains or something, and couldn't get, they couldn't get a signal, and we'd show up to work and be like, guys, bad news, uh, we, couldn't, we couldn't get a signal. And I was like, oh, well, that's going to be bad news for production, because <laughs> I'm going to head back down the mountain. Fast forward to like 15 people trying On the top of the mountain ridge, like, <laughs> hey, yeah, holding mirrors to like, pop. No, sorry, that sorry. was. Yes, sorry. We're gonna keep coming back to this question. Thank, thanks a lot. Yeah. And then one's okay. So, Jared, I know that you had a TikTok where you were doing a spicy food. Um, spicy food? Yeah. yeah. Do you have TikTok? Are you on TikTok? Or I have TikTok. TikTok. It was Jen's TikTok, I think. It was Jen's. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember and that. Then, um, we were talking about this last night. <laughs> And then, Jared, I know you were supposed to be eating something spicy. I think it was jerky on Supernatural. And so I'm assuming you guys are all familiar with Hot Ones. That's why I was doing the spicy thing. Yeah. Uh, so, yes. So, so wait. Oh, sorry. sorry. No, please. I'm not going <laughs> to. Sure. Let her ask the question, man. <laughs> so my question is, if you were invited to be on the show, would you go? And what do you? How? How well? Fuck you would yes. Do? Yes. <laughs> yes. Capital how well F. do you think you would do? What's that? Well, how well do you think you would do? We had this conversation last night. <laughs> so, legitimately, I got. <laughs> he didn't even drink his coffee this morning. <laughs> I got oh, absolutely good. obsessed with hot, uh, hot Ones and met him in the green room of a UFC fight and I saw him across the room and I was like <laughs> <laughs> and then he's kind of like talking with friends and looks across and we kind of shared eye contact <laughs> for a moment, for a moment so I walked up and I was like, hey man, I'm a... I'm really a big fan. Like, I'd love to be on your show. I'm, I'm an actor. He's like, no, no, we've tried to get you on the show. 
was like, what? He's like, yeah, we've tried to get you and Jensen on the show and like have a thing. And I was like, oh, what? why don't we do it? And they were in Chicago at the time or something filming. Uh, and so after that, I was all like, yeah. By the way, I love spicy food anyways. Um, so I went online and ordered like a bunch of super, super hot. And I ordered one called D maybe Dave's Ghost Pepper. Oh, Dave. Oh, Dave. <laughs> Uh, I Damn ordered, it, Dave. Like, a really, a really, really spicy. I think you're supposed to put like a droplet in a in a vat of chili, and then everybody has like, diarrhea like for a week. Cap. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so I was like, all right, I'm gonna practice. I'm gonna start like getting ready. <laughs> start training. <laughs> and so I put a bunch on a little plate and dipped a chip in and had quite a bit. And Jen filmed it. I don't know how to find it, but. I, Every fluid in my body, <laughs> neck up. <laughs> Let me reword that. Everything above my clavicle just started draining. And I'm like sitting there just dripping tears and snot and drooling. I couldn't, like for an hour or two, I couldn't do anything. I put too much on. I, I'd love to do it, and I, I, my big thing, I, I, Jensen and I have talked about it, Jensen and Misha and I have talked about it, uh, we want to do the three of us, uh, hot ones. I think I'd do all right, I think I'd do all right. Yeah, I, yeah. I, it would hurt, it would hurt. Yeah, well, it would hurt, but it would be, I, I, yeah, I don't think, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go down, I wouldn't tap out. Yeah. No, 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 no. I just let, I just let my face melt off. <laughs> I'd just like be sagging. For like six weeks. <laughs> what happened to you? Hot ones. Especially with the three of us, we get together. Like we're supporting. Oh yeah, there's no tapping out. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're all like dads and doing our own thing. But we get together, it's like, yeah, I'll do. You're doing two? I'll do three. You're doing three? I'll do four. I'll do, I'll do five then. I don't care. Yeah, we're not competitive at all. <laughs> at all. Within a certain realm, we're just like, nope. I can, so I think. So, yeah. I, I, so you guys hit up hot ones. Yes. Start. Uh, yes. You know, yes. Start messaging them and say uh, clearly there's uh, there's an opportunity here. I, uh, Jeffrey Morgan did it uh, over COVID. Yeah, he did it via Zoom over COVID. And uh, and I was talking to him about it. He was like, and I guess uh, they had brought up us to Jeff. Jeff was like, dude, they'd love to have you on. I was like, <laughs> I, have his, I have his number. He was like, yeah, man. We should make that happen sooner than later. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all can make it happen. Y'all can make it happen. Uh, how about right, happen. right here in the green? Green dress. Thank you guys for being here and for everything that you've done. I'm curious, as much as we've talked about what you've missed, what has been the best part about wrapping up such a momentous project? Uh, let me start with this one. Uh, I, I finally started to allow myself to be proud of it, you know, uh, uh, in no small part due to all y'all, but I think, and he and I have talked about this for, we talked about it for the 15 and a half years or whatever, but when you're in it, when you still have a job to do, you can't really toot your own horn or pat yourself on the back, but now with it in the rearview mirror, I'm like, yeah, that was pretty fucking cool. Like, yeah, we did work our asses off. Yeah, we did grow up a lot. Yeah, we did get better. Yeah, we did learn this. We did learn that. We made these friendships. At the time, you're like, don't, don't tell me how cool it is because I still have to wake up and, and do eight pages. I still have to watch this video on my text messages of the, of the fight I have to do tomorrow so I can memorize the movements and practice it in my hotel room or my apartment. But now that it's finally behind us, behind us as of right now, uh, I kind of can look around. <laughs> uh, I can go like, man, that that was cool. That was cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was I was proud of the fact that we we went out um, while still firing on on all cylinders. Yeah. yeah. Um, that was my that was one of my biggest fears was that. Um, the show would start to decline and its and its quality, or we would run out. As most do, right? Like or, or, in season three, or four. <laughs> right? right. <laughs> um, 
and uh, and I think that was that was hard because when you're still when you're still performing and working and telling a story and, and still love your characters and you're still playing at that level, to then to then walk away from it was was hard, but it was also something that he and I talked about of just like, well, let's let's not stick around until it starts to decline, until the you know until the audience loses its interest in us and the story starts to you know get a little washed up, and and, and then all of a sudden we start caring less and don't put in the effort. I still feel like we went out after winning the Super Bowl. Yeah. So I'm, I'm proud of that. Yeah, I think it's I think it's one of the reasons why you know we can we're still here talking about it. Right. Is because it wasn't dying. It was still very much alive and still had a lot to give. And I think that it still is giving. It's still kind of living on through this. And I think that's just setting up the return at some point. And I'll say this, and this is something I've kind of had to vocalize as a parent, but I'll say this for me, and I'll say this for him, and for the cast at large, and the crew. Uh, I tell my kids often, because you know, they're in sports, and it's sports, you know, like it's just kids running after a soccer ball, and not, or whatever. But some of my kids get upset when they lose, and I'm like, hey, did you play your best? Uh, like, I'm, I'm very competitive, but not with you, not with him, not with anybody here. I just want to be the best I can be. Yeah. Uh, want to do the best job I can. If I if I if I get home at night and I, I won whatever game, but I didn't give him my best, I feel worse than if I lost but did my best. Like I'll, I'll never beat LeBron James in a one-on-one -on -one game. But if I work really hard and I can maybe dribble a couple times without him stealing it and dunking on me, then I'll, I'll be like... I'll still lose. I'll still I'll lose, but I'll be like, hey, that's the best I can do, you know? Like, that's that's just the best I can be. It's, it's not going to be as good as that. But I'll say this, you know, obviously in 327 episodes, uh, eight days of filming per episode, that's 2,500 days that we got up and went to work. And... I want to check your math on that. Roughly. Uh, 2,600-ish. I don't uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll say this, he and I were full aware, and I'm sure y'all are as well, that some episodes were not as good as some others. But every fucking day, every scene, every line, we gave it everything we had. And, so and I think we're literally going out on that. I'm saying... That's it. They're pulling us. Thank y'all so much. That's time. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks for being here. We'll see y'all later. I saw you last night. I saw you.